Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a Chrome extension that I think every musician needs to have installed. First, head over to the Chrome Web Store and search for Transpose. The extension we're looking at is used to transpose pitch, speed, and also set up loops for, it claims videos, but it does all of the audio in your browser. So, add the extension, and I always like to pin it as well because it's just so useful. That's all we need to do to install it. Now, when we head over to a YouTube tab, for example, um, you can usually have to say, like, accept the permissions, set the permissions and refresh. But as soon as you've got some music playing, hopefully that's, like, coming through okay for the mic. But listen as we hit transpose and semitones. So there we go, it transposes in semitones really easily. You can also finely tune that pitch. I knew that was going to happen, you see. So you can just hear that warbling a little bit, and you can reset that too. And that's really helpful when you've got an old piece of music that was you know, recorded to a piano. Um, Kiss from Rose by Seal, a nightmare for the same reason. You've got speed as well, so if something gets tricky, if you've got a tricky run, something fast you want to slow down and get to grips with. Speed as well, does a pretty good job of the speed. And you've also got loop settings, you can set a number of seconds for marker 1, number of seconds for marker 2, and it will just loop that section as well. Really easy to use. Pause this music a sec. You've also got a history tab, which will show you the stuff you've done already and kind of save your settings, so if you revisit this song later, it will still be there, as long as you're in the same tab, I believe. Look at the settings, you've got auto reset. Now this is something I actually like to disable. The reason I like to disable it is when I'm working in Spotify, I usually have a whole playlist of a set. Um, and what I need to do with that set in the band that I'm in is transpose the whole lot down just to semitone because of how the band is tuned. Um, and it's a pain in the neck that actually every time it changes track in Spotify, it resets it back to concert pitch. Um, and yeah, you have to keep clicking. So actually I quite like to set auto reset off you might find that helpful dark theme if you like things to be dark I don't know what the keyboard shortcuts are for this extension but you can find them via the help and you can clear all the history as well to get rid of um, all of this history over here to clear your settings when you're in Spotify or any other service um, I know that this works in SoundCloud, I know that it works in Bandcamp, I'm not rich enough to know if it works in Apple Music and the other um, services that you can pay for, but if you add permissions and allow and then refresh, it'll pick up Spotify once you are um, playing. Add the permissions again, I don't know why that didn't happen. No media found, and now the media is found. So when I play it, you see it's working on Spotify as well. Amazing! So it's great. You can manipulate the audio in your browser. You can slightly pitch it down, or do it by semitones, do your speed, set up loops really powerful, really helpful rehearsing. Um, install it, see how you get on if you have any questions. Don't ask me, ask the help. It's a really well supported plugin. It has loads of FAQs. Um, it's got all the information about how it works. So why would you ask me about it? I just told you about it. Anyway, <laughs> feel free to ask me though if you want in all seriousness. See you later.